right, new update, let's go. What's the new, there's new quest to do. Oh god, the quest menu changed a lot. Uh, how do I know, okay, how does the new, because these are, these ones I think are the ones, are quests I've already completed, right? Assuming all the ones down here are the ones I already completed. Unless there's new quests. Yeah, I think all of these are new are quests I've already completed. So these are the new new quests, okay. Uh, okay, I see. I see if it's uh if the quest is a gray it means it's complete it's finished, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Finished is gray. And okay. So they changed the okay. quay. Welcome to the mission line. There are two categories available. Quest type and nebula. All the filters are currently active. By selecting one filter, you can remove the corresponding quest from the list. Try it out now. Now press the reset button below the quest type to restore the, so the missions. Reset. You can access the quest log from the bridge and the pause menu at any time. Yeah, that's good. So you can select. So if I don't want the finished quest, so these are the quests. Okay, there we go. Let's just hide this finished quest, and now here we go. Just new quest to do. Let's go around the ship a bit, maybe. Is there new upgrades here? No. Okay. What about the locker? Anything in the locker? Probably not, just a either. Okay, we'll probably have to start that new, new mission. Yeah, there's a bunch of new stuff. Alright, let's start the new mission then. Actually, there's probably a new Mantic if I check that laboratory, right? There is a new Mantic. Alright. Recall. A fusion of highly intelligent being with a titanium shell, powerful automaton. Due to its poor immune system, even sneezing in its direction can kill it. Recall's only blind spot is anywhere behind it. Alas, it was almost a perfect specimen. Interesting. So we gotta unlock this guy. We have to craft it. I hope I'll we'll find a way to craft it soon. Let's go back to the bridge. Where do we go for these? Look who fired. Showdown. Visit the car trust system for some much needed shore leave. Let's go to Showdown. Visit the Cartoria system for some much needed shore. Cartoria. That's in the Yeti, right? The new one? This is the Yeti. Okay. Oh wow, the Yeti looks pretty scary. <laughs> First quest is in Cartoria. Captain, Fortune is ready to discuss the final recruitment mission with you. Alright, put it through. Hey Captain, how's the team? I got everyone together for a meeting and told them everything. We're going to take a few days of shore leave so they can recover from the impact of the kick in the tits they just took. Normally I'd say yes, but time is against us here. You need to get to your last commander, and you need to get to her quick. Okay, why how come? Oh, shoot, we've had a shitting hell of a week and I'm going to spend a few days with my girls making sure Morel isn't completely fucked around here. That's final. Fine, go ahead. Have your time off. It's not like I was going to send you to the Keeley homeworld or anything. What did you just say? I said your next commander is a Keeley. And you need to get to her homeworld to recruit her. Fortune, just when I thought you couldn't get any lower, you asked me to do something like this. You fucking absolutely wonderful goddamn bruce of a bitch holy 
Fuck a molly. The teetling? No way. No fucking way. Fuck time off. We're going demi set a course. At once, Captain. Oh, going to and send a tea leaf and play some tea pop over every speaker. I want to get the girls ready for this. Now accessing the premium TV pop network. Teapot? Seriously? Really? Teapot? I knew you were a fanboy because of those ridiculous panties on your face, but this? It's embarrassing. You're a grown ass man. Ridiculous. Get fucked. You're insulting true love. Galaxy Tour, two years ago. TTS, the greatest fucking teapot band of all time, just finished singing their encore number. It was right that second when Leezy, the purest and most beautiful of all the TTS waifus, threw this pair right in my direction. I caught them with one hand and fought off at least 50 other panty rabbit blokes with the other. It was a fucking bloodbath. But I came out of that arena with the pristine pair of Leezy's undies, and I'm damn proud to be wearing them to this day. Do you not understand how creepy and weird it is that you put those girls on a pedestal of purity, yet they throw their sweaty thongs into the crowd at the end of every show? Oh, please. You can never understand the devotion between a man and his wife. Our love is pure. I will not stand for you objectifying Lazy Chan. Exactly. You do realize that the entirety of T-Pop is just some manufactured corporate bullshit to sell you their music, right? Uh, who cares? Adorable, what? Captain, what are you doing? I'm downstairs working my bum off in the lab, running some very important tests, and you... You think you can play the best song ever written at that soft-ass volume? Really? Not you too! You heard the lady, Demi. Rank that shit! Do you guys have any idea how hard it is to focus on target practice? And all I can think about is how fucking great Kasuna Chan's new highlights are? Yeah, true. Oh, I know. She's so pretty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, guys. Fortune, Fortune is such a mood killer. About, Seriously, Fortune, calm down. Come on, Fortune, the music is sick. Listen to this music. Yeah, the music is sick. This is the best music ever, that's for sure. I am so jealous of that bitch. You don't even know. Oh really, Ethan? I'm not surprised. What the fuck? What is this shit? I am not going to tolerate you sullying the Mary Celeste! Colisseon, you are my only ally. Thank you. By insinuating for even one second that you Chan is not the prettiest member of TTS! <laughs> Fortune is like the only one that does not like T-Pop. Oh my god, Fortune. That's right! Team Uni, Are you fucking kidding me? Catastrophic damage. I repeat, catastrophic damage. Shields, comms, and stealth systems are down. Engines compromised. We are in seriously deep shit. Bloody hell! Who's the dick flop trying to get in the way of me reuniting with my waifu? I have read this energy signature before, Captain. It is the Huntress. Oh, the Huntress is back. Oh, Her shit. Again? Why can't that cephalopod sociopath just leave us the fuck alone? Captain, I'm insulted. I spent hours slaving over this airspace to prepare a nice deadly ambush for you. And all you do is bitch, bitch, bitch. Demi, get my fighter ready to launch. It is ready. Alright, we're gonna have to fight the Huntress again. Oh shit, the Huntress is here. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? Alright. Come on, Huntress. Is that all you got? Someone that's supposed to 
be the best of her, did you miss this? You're doing a piss poor job of killing me. Hush! Nobody likes a backseat assassin. Besides, I'm just getting started. Enough playing around. It's time for phase two. Oh shit, the Huntress is after us. Okay, what is this? Oh shit. Oh no, oh no, don't die, don't die. Holy crap, okay, this is, this is getting hard. The circle's moving, okay, that's why I was getting hit, oh shit. I'm so gonna die for this. Can you even win this fight? Holy shit. Try again, try again. We're not gonna lose here. Uh, oh, there, there's, there, there's the Huntress. Now we know where the where the projectiles are coming from. There we go. We can dodge this. Meteor just hit me. Oh shit. Give me health. Yes. Perfect. Oh shit. I got directly hit by that. The Huntress is getting annoying. Oh shit. Oh shit, what is this? A new phase? Yeah, exactly. No tanks. Oh shit, what the heck are all those? Concentrate, health, health. Oh god, I was close. Almost died there. Health, health, health. Thank you.
God, there's a lot of projectiles in this battle. I think we got a checkpoint, right? We did get a checkpoint. Yeah, we did got a checkpoint. Okay, good. Can try this phase again. more damage. How did I miss that one? Oh, come on. We're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're gonna do this. I mean, I, I can skip it, but... I don't want to skip it. I want to. I want to do this. Come on, seriously? Charge my shield, come on. Where, where, where did the hunters go? Oh, Hawk, come on. That was, that was totally cheap. Exactly, yeah, I agree, it is just unfair. They said I could crap. I don't use. So if you could do me a favor and die quickly, I would appreciate it. 
I mean, I could just skip it, but I'm not skipping the battle. Come on! When, when, when the, she disappears and then the turrets appear, she puts a bunch of mines. Remember that. Okay, let's do this. Now we know the pattern. So we should be able to do it now. Just learn the pattern. Then. There's turret, she uses a bunch of mines. Okay. So stay away from her when the turrets respond. I think I got all the turrets over here. Again, get away. I'll have to use the boost. I think the best way to get away from the mine is to use the boost. Use a boost to dodge the mines and destroy the turrets real quick. Come on, that was not fair. Come on, no! Shit, almost got it. Almost got it. I can do this, I can do this. Oh yeah, I found you don't go in range of the turrets, I should be able to destroy them easily. Yeah. Thank you. 
dodge the mines. Just gotta get those turrets so I can have more room to move. Pull the turrets. That should be good. So close earlier. Attention to all ships below. You are engaging in naval combat over neutral Teeley airspace. Surrender immediately, or we will be forced to shoot you down. We oh, got I saved. Don't Thank you. It. It's impossible you're this lucky. This is your last chance. Power down your weapons. Looks like we're tied at 1 1, Captain. This isn't over yet. See you around. Wait, did the Imperium just say their lives? Is this an appropriate time for a phrase such as, holy cocksucking shitballs of fuck? I'd have to say so. Attention to the vessel below. We see that you have sustained heavy damage. Do you have any wounded aboard? I am happy to report all crew are accounted for and do not require immediate medical attention. Excellent. We'll be towing you to the nearest port and making sure you receive the appropriate repairs. However, I will be sending a boarding party to inspect your ship for our safety. You are to disengage all engines and weapon systems. Investigation? Demi, if they board the ship, we are fucked. That won't be necessary, Admiral. If you read our registry, you will see we are simply a trade vessel en route to drop supplies off. I see just fine. And I see you're in possession of a Phoenix. I don't know how you managed to get that ship, but I am certain you don't have a permit for it. Because such permission does not exist. To the gentleman piloting that fighter, don't try to leave. You won't make it. I'm not getting out of this. Demi, can you make a jump? Possibly, but it is quite dangerous. With the damage we have sustained, the odds of survival are one in five. Are you going to comply, or shall I count down from ten? Shit! Okay, here's the plan. Uh... Captain? I... I have absolutely no idea what to do. All right. Ten. Nine. Hey, Admiral Mayamoto! It's me, Princess Sobelin Maliana! What you doing, big guy? Princess Maliana? But what an honor. We're investigating a potential violation of your Teeley Airspace Integrated Neutrality Treaty. Aw, you don't need to do that. Those poor guys need our help. Why don't you bring them to our planet and we'll take good care of them? Yes, Princess Maliana. At once. However, they are in possession of illegal Imperium technology. Worry. We'll get that figured out later, cutie. Look at that little ship. Oh, it's all beat up. I don't think they can go anywhere even if they wanted to, Admiral. Just bring them down here and we'll make everything okay, okay? 
by your decree, princess. Love you, Admiral. See you soon, guys. Kisses! What in the galaxy's cunt just happened? We got saved, that's what happened. Tilly Mania. And that's in the... There's a journalist in need of help. We could do that. Titakania, the and the Yeti Nubla. For being uh what you call that? Toad. For being toad here. I don't care. How is this place real? I feel like I'm tripping balls. I'd wager it's probably because you're staring right into the greatest hotbed of sexual repression in the entire galaxy, you fucking knobhead. I concur with Killy's rather crude assessment. I have extensively researched this species, as well as their practice of the Torgi and its eventual demise. Torgi? I've never heard of that. What are you guys talking about? My data archives state that the Tili were once known for mass mating events called Torgis. Thousands of Tili would join together inside their landmark coliseum, the Tirina, to participate in the fertility festival. That's a poncy way of saying they would shag like animals for weeks at a time. It's totally true. They were the biggest sluts alive before the Imperium ruined everything. Obviously, sweaty fuck pile traditions don't mesh well with the veil, so they kind of made them stop. Three things came to be as a result of this prohibition. One is T-pop. Oh, I really should despise a corporate brand of music born from the repression of the people. But it's just so flipping catchy! Then there's the Tea Leaf Fighting Championship. They host the TFC in the t Arena where the Torgies used to be, so basically, they just like swapped the fucking with a bunch of roided freaks smashing each other's skulls in. Oh, typical. The Imperium was dead set against the completely natural behavior of these horny little devils buggering each other's brains out, but they're completely supportive of the unnatural spectacle of blood and guts spilled purely for entertainment. Wait, Lily, what's the third thing that happened after the Imperium banned Torgies? Oh, just the doubling of the suicide rate. Aww. All right, enough with the blatant social commentary. Look sharp, loves. We're about to walk the red fucking carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the royal Tealy family. I am King Maliana, ruler of Titicania and outlying colonies. I begrudgingly welcome you as royal guests due to my idiot daughter's wishes. Your very presence is an utter disgrace. Oh, that's uh, very kind of you. And I am Queen Maliana. The sight of you vagrants makes me sick to my stomach. Please don't talk to me unless absolutely necessary. I despise being obligated in any way towards you and your unsightly band of whores. Diplomatic as fuck, really. And I'm Princess Maliana. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's so wonderful to finally meet you. Oh, and look at all your super special outfits. Wow, your dress, Chloe Chic! And this lab coat, who is your designer? Your titty window top is so risque! <gasps> and a teapot fan! Yay! Yeah, teapot fan, yep. Sure, this is the right girl, Timmy. I am not. The transmission to Fortune was cut off before the mission briefing was fully downloaded. When is this noise to random smugglers? This must be some kind of death trap. They're gonna lock us in a room, shut off the lights, and then dozens of knee-high teetling ninja cockfighters are gonna rip us to shreds. Let's make a run for it! Ahem. 
Hey, mister! Mister! Yoo-hoo! Uh, yeah? Listen, you queef harvesting shit lord. You and your crew are going to follow me immediately and without question, or I'm gonna shove those panties so deep down your worthless fucking throat that you choke on them. Got it? Hey, everybody! How about we follow the princess, yeah? Smart move, Cockslap. All right, let's go! Pardon the intrusion, Princess Maliana. Might I have a word with this gentleman? Hmm, okay, but please make it quick, Miyamoto. I can't wait to show them all my pretty dresses. Of course, Princess. So, uh, Miyamoto, was it? Admiral Miyamoto. Ah, sorry, Admiral. Well, what exactly did you want to tell me? The princess has requested that your ship be towed and repaired in the royal hangar by the finest Tealy mechanics. Thus it will be done. Oh, that's nice. Cheers, mate. Also, you are all considered guests of royalty. Therefore, you are not subject to seizure by the forces of the Imperium, despite the Empress herself placing a rather large bounty on your heads. Bounty? Who said anything about a bounty? Like my mainframe told you, we're just smugglers. I mean, we're just traitors. Traitors! Yeah, traitors. That's all. There's no need for such an infantile ruse, Captain. I had my suspicions once I saw your phoenix. Now that I've also seen Alicia Sorn, I know that you were the ones responsible for what happened on Talisam. Not that I'm admitting to anything, but if we were, I think we can all agree those bastards got what they deserved. Wrong. For what they did in the past, they deserve much, much worse. Which is why I'm practically grateful to you. My fleet and I actually rather enjoyed taking out as many of Lander Vu's rogue toy ships as possible. Also, if I may be so forward, it's always nice to meet a fellow veteran of the Battle of New Vegas. Especially one from across the field. There's not many of you that survived that fateful day. And I must admit, you gave us a hell of a fight. You were there? Of course. I was commanding the fleet that tore the Solar Navy apart. You rotten old bastard. Captain, agitation was not my statement's intent. At the conclusion of combat, a true warrior tends to show respect for a worthy opponent. Yeah, well, I'm no warrior, so how does fuck off sound? Of course you are. Though I can see, like most solars, you've simply lost your way. I have a history with your species. One that started long before that battle. In a way, I feel somewhat responsible for you. But know this. It is my sworn duty to serve the Empress and keep the citizens of the Imperium safe. Tread lightly during your time on this planet. I will not warn you a second time. You threatening me, Admiral? You should only take it that way if you have intentions that are illegal in nature. I believe in justice above all. And I strongly advise you not to give me a reason to demonstrate my ability to serve it. You are free to go. Hey, boys! Are you keeping the princess waiting? Everyone, follow the princess. You heard the captain! Let's go! Yay! Greetings, Senator Arark. I hope that I'm not disturbing you. Admiral, it's been quite some time, hasn't it? Actually, we saw each other a month ago at your Punagarian Snatch Beast benefit. Really? Huh. That's strange. You'd think I'd remember that. You were rather intoxicated. That would explain it. You also vomited on my uniform in the process of making some undignified remarks towards my daughter. <clears throat> uh, so, are you calling with uh, official business then? <laughs> I found the Mary Celeste. That's the ship the Empress is looking for, is it not? In fact, I ran a background check on the Solar in charge of the vessel. Turns out he's a fellow veteran of the Battle of New Vegas. Back then, we only knew him by his call sign, Madlad. 
He single-handedly shot down nearly 50 of my ships that day. <laughs> Quite legendary at the time, really. I always wished I'd get the chance to meet him. Now I have. Wow, that, uh... That's, um... Wow. Are you all right, Senator? <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Do go on. You, uh... You captured his ship then? No, unfortunately. For some reason, a Teely princess has provided the entire crew with sanctuary. Oh, I see. That's not uncommon for their species, even when it comes to those that have clearly violated Imperium law. Well, it might seem counterproductive, but our hands are tied for now. But that is not the case. I'm calling to ask for your permission as the adjudicator of this sector to circumvent Teely's sanctuary rights and take them into custody. I, I'm sorry, did you say adjudicator? Yes, the Empress is currently unavailable as she is deep in meditation. The next in line to make decisions regarding treaty circumvention is an adjudicator, and you are the one assigned to this sector, are you not? Um, uh, I, uh, da, da, da. sorry, just a second. Um, trying to find a fucking map here. Ah, well, it doesn't even matter. The answer is no. We don't need to potentially incite another galactic incident with the cloy already on the warpath. Anything else? Yes. I would also like an apology. An apology? For what? I'm referring to what you did to my uniform. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. And for what you said to my daughter. Well, to be fair, I don't even know what was said. I'd rather not repeat such undignified assertions. All right. I apologize for probably hitting on your daughter. How is the family, by the way? Goodbye, Senator. Ugh, it's like getting told off by your dad with this fucking guy. <sighs> Captain, please, please don't screw this up. Not now. You better not be digging around drinking yourself to death in some dive bar somewhere. This is quite perplexing. I have run the calculations several times, and it should be biologically impossible for a tea of her size to consume that much alcohol and still be conscious. Fuck me and my fucking ass! Seriously, you guys have no idea how much I loathe putting on that shitty two-faced Tilly charm! <laughs> Every time I have to do that cutesy voice, I feel like it's infecting my lungs. And I'm gonna choke on my own <laughs> bullshit culture! And that prick, Admiral Miyamoto. Who the fuck does he think he is? Are you sure, Princess? Are you sure about that? That loser probably touch his own dick without written permission from the morons at the Senate. And he thinks he can question me? <laughs> Suck my tight royal pussy, you absolute cunt of an Imperium stooge! Ugh, I'm so pissed I want to get drunk, fight, and fuck all at the same time! Captain, I believe this is indeed the contact Fortune intended us to meet. <laughs> you got that right! Hey, T-Pop! Time to show me you got a pair! Pick up that bottle! What? You asking me to go for another round? That ain't gonna end well for either of us! <laughs> Wait, what is this? It's loading? Oh, it's a minigame! Welcome to the drinking minigame. The goal here is to outdrink Sova. The minigame is audio based, so make sure music settings are enabled. To get the best score possible, click on the highlighted part of the screen when indicator reaches the area and flashes brighter. Okay. For the best experience, please use a wired audio device. Good luck.
this is pretty fun. No, she's just chugging them. Holy crap. I'm not, I'm not gonna win this. Just because I love lazy chair that I can't handle my booze. I think you'd have to be fucked out of your mind in the first place to listen to that basic ass shit. So you probably don't have much left upstairs as it is, you fucking team. With your stupid team face. Fuck it, I am mean. <laughs> I like you. Princess Maliana. Please, I hate that shit. Just call me Silva. Princess Silva, I am quite concerned about our ship. When will we return to the Mary Celeste and leave this planet? Leave? <laughs> we aren't going anywhere. Wait, is this actually a daily death trap? You really are special, aren't you? No, it's not a daily death trap. Your ship's in the Royal Hangar. Our mechanics will get her up and running again, but it's gonna take a few days at least. Besides, Fortune and I have a plan. You just gotta help me with that little mission first. Mission? What mission? I thought we were just coming to pick you up. Wait, are you serious? You guys don't even know why you're here? The Huntress attacked us mid-transmission. Fortune's instructions were never received. Okay, here's the deal, dickwads. I'm a contestant in the T-Rena. Becoming the Grand Champion is my dream. And I'm this close! <laughs> I, are you serious? You're in the Daily Fighting Championship. Uh, do I compete in the TFC? You're looking at the next in line for the title. That, of course, has really pissed off my folks because I'm also next in line for the throne, but they think competing in death matches is barbaric for some reason. Wait, <laughs> for the throne? You're set to inherit control of the entire Teeley Empire. <laughs> you! Captain, I could smell the drugs, desperation, and crazy on you the second you landed. Are you seriously trying to talk down to me here? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm just shocked that they wouldn't try to get you to, I don't know, switch places with someone or something. Uh, switch places? Do you not understand how a monarchy works, you fucking dipshit? I don't even know what a monarchy is. Your stupidity aside, I'm the first female Teeley to ever compete in the T-Rena, and none of us have ever won the title of Grand Master. Ah, uh, I get it. You want us to help you train or something? You're gonna do more than that. You see, this is not a one-on-one -on -one kind of deal. I need a commander along with some meatheads to get in there and bust some skulls with me. You help me get that title and I join your crew. It's that easy. <laughs> easy? You're asking me to put the entire revolution in jeopardy here. This is fucked, Sova. I'm telling you right now, it's going to take a hell of a lot to convince me to go through with this. <sighs> I'll 
suck your dick. Deal. Now, tell me about this TFC champ we're gonna fight. See for yourself, team. Look up there. Tune in this Saturday Night Live on pay-per-view to the Italy Fighting Championship to see Lord Drongo completely demolish the living shit out of some privileged royal twat. Seriously, fuck this chick. Unadulterated, uncensored, ultra-violent beam directly into your fucking skull. TFC 2001, the assassination of Princess Maliana by the champion Lord Drongo. Order it now and fucking get some! Is it just me, or was that ad a bit biased? Yeah, I know it doesn't sound like it, but I've actually got a lot of fans here. My parents have been dragging the dirty ball sack of propaganda across everyone's faces trying to fix that. Too bad for them I kept winning, and now they have no choice but to give me a title shot. How is it possible that the Grand Champion is a spork? Imperium law states that sporks are not allowed to leave their homeworld due to the extreme danger they represent. Ticket sales were shitting the bed a while back, so we talked the Imperium into letting us smuggle a few of them here. We just had to promise to keep a close eye on them because of that whole, you know, tendency to murder dozens of people a day for fun thing. I see. I would like to propose a strategy. If you are going to compete in a deathmatch soon, perhaps it would be beneficial for you not to consume massive amounts of alcohol. Thanks for the suggestion, kid, but I really fight better with a sharp hangover. It gets me pissed enough to unlock my true powers and swing my hammer with extreme bad bitch authority. And I will use any excuse I can to get drunk enough that I can't remember how much I hate myself and regret the decisions I made in life. So your request is denied. Here's to my new friends! May we not die a horrible death together! Cheers! Cheers. Some new quests. Molly Fuman wants to join her for some sparring. And we've got some side quests to do. So I think we'll start doing the side quests next time. We're gonna stop it here for today. Uh, is Tilly on the ship? Should be like in a hangar or something. Well, on the ship, can we talk to someone on the ship? Or... Actually, I wonder if someone if they have a different dialogue. No. Okay. Dalek does not have any new dialogue. There's Tealy. Let's talk to Tealy then. Let's talk. Not her. Well, you see. I discovered at a young age that I had a natural talent and passion for fucking people up. And it made me feel good to do it, so I did it. Ah, uh, I still remember when I threw my first right hook. Oh, yeah. One of the house handmaidens tried to force me into a dress when I was young. She really wouldn't take no for an answer, so I gave her a three-piece and a soda right to the baby maker. Oops, Didn't hear much about dress code policies after that incident. And pissing off my parents was a pretty sweet bonus. Plus, elite warriors that actively seek death-defying combat situations tend to be pretty fucking good at drinking and fucking. So it was a great way to meet people with mutual interests. Nice. I have to talk to TV here too. Let's go back to the bridge. We'll continue the rest of the we'll continue the rest of this chapter next time on Subverse. We'll do more with Sova and we'll do more of the side quests. We'll do that next time on Subverse.